replace the stainless steel sample capillary in the ESI probe if it becomes blocked and cannot be cleared, or if it becomes contaminated or damaged. Always wear chemical-resistant powder-free gloves while performing this procedure. The probe and source components can be contaminated with biohazardous and or toxic materials. When replacing the probe, exercise caution as the probe tip is sharp and the probe and source can get hot. Refer to the video clip preparing the instrument for working on the source to properly stop or divert flow. Remove the corona pin, if installed, and the ESI probe as described in the video replacing the ESI probe tip. Using a slotted screwdriver, remove the two probe end cover retaining screws. Then using a 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench, loosen the grub screw retaining the LC peak union and remove the probe end cover. Using a 1 quarter inch or 6 millimeter wrench, unscrew and remove the probe tip. Using 1 5 16 inch and 1 7 16 inch wrench, remove the LC union. Unscrew the coupling and withdraw the capillary from the probe. Remove the capillary and O-ring from the coupling. Discard the capillary, Teflon liner, and ferrule assembly. Using needle nose pliers, remove the conductive sleeve from the inner bore of the probe assembly fitting. Slide a GVF-16 ferrule onto the liner tube. Press the O-ring into the groove facing the short end of the coupling. Slide the coupling, short end first, onto the capillary, followed by the new Teflon liner tube and ferrule. To properly set the depth of the capillary, connect a piece of 7 thousandths peak tubing with finger tight nut and ferrule into the opposite side of the LC union. Press the capillary into the union until it can go no further and tighten the coupling nut to the LC union just until snug. Gently pull on the capillary to be sure it remains in place. Remove the peak tubing from the union. Slide the conductive sleeve onto the capillary, then feed the capillary through the probe. Attach the coupling nut to the probe and gently tighten using a 7 16 inch wrench. Replace the probe tip and screw down until 0.5 millimeter of the capillary protrudes from the end. Use the eye loop provided in the startup kit to enable you to clearly see the capillary. Replace the probe end cover and secure with the two slotted screws. Tighten the grub screw to clamp the LC union in place. Replace the corona pin. Then reinstall the probe to the instrument. For details, refer to the video clip replacing the ESI probe tip.